Hey everyone, so wanted to touch base again. So in the last two minute Tuesday or one of the two minute Tuesdays, we touched on network traffic rules over in Veeam Backend Replication. And in particular on my home network where we have this internet rule configured, we have it throttling throughout the day because of work reasons. And then we have it completely unthrottled during the, the midnight hours type thing until we get back on with things in the morning. However, there's also a use case here to configure network traffic rules between maybe your internal network and Azure or and AWS and soon to be Google Cloud Platform, but really any location and pinpointing that. Internet's a great rule in that it's going to stop everything going out, but if you want to pinpoint a lot more in the, in the way of making sure that your data is getting to that external location this could be a great way of being able to be able to do that so big shout out here to one of our SEs um, Marco Horseman um, been at Veeam for a while but always coming up with some awesome scripts here so this is available on on github but I just really wanted to highlight what what it is how it works and uh, yeah some of the cool stuff around there so I've taken that script, I've done some modifications to it really for my own uh, requirement. I, I need UK South, I'm based in the UK, but ultimately you can choose whichever re region you wish to use. So yeah, I'm not going to go through the whole script, but ultimately what it allows us to do is run these parameters against this script for Azure and we've got one for AWS and I'll quickly touch on that as well. So it's going to load in this script. It's then going to give a name, a source IP subnet, so i.e. everything internally for my network, the Azure region that we wish to uh, get the IP addresses for. So this script is going to go out. It's going to get those forward-facing IPs from Azure. We're going to say we're going to throttle everything to those five concurrent tasks, and we're going to do that at megabit per second. Um, so... And it's really as, as as simple as that. I've also created these these very very simple deletion rules as well, just so that we can add them in. Um, yeah, ultimately it's going to go away. It's going to find out what those are. It's going to add in our 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 snap in. It's going to add in all of those IP addresses, etc. So let's uh, let's actually take that. Take that script, uh, let's work out where it is first as well. Okay, so they are on the desktop, perfect. So if we, so we're gonna run that script because it's located for this instance on my desktop. We're gonna give it an, the name, we're gonna give it the source IP, subnet, etc and everything else within there. And then I'll come back into the script. I'll just show you how that looks within within VBR. So this is gonna go away. It's gonna find out what those forward facing IPs are. And this is a one time thing, right? And now this is adding that into being back of replication. If I start to go in here, we should now start to see these rules. So you can see We've got the name, VZilla HQ, to Azure, underscore UK South. So on the original script that Marco had put the majority of the effort, mine is more um, making it look more readable, if you like. I just wanted to know that it was going from this location to Azure to this region, and this is the forward facing IP address. So if we go and jump back into the script, we can then see um, at some point in here, I mentioned to call it here. So check if that rule is there. So if we went to run this again, we would get the uh, an error come back to say it's already there. But ultimately what we're doing is we're, we've defined the name above. We've added this bit of text in and then we've also defined above the target start address 
Uh, and here again, you can see add, net, add VBR network rule, which is a PowerShell commandlet from, from Veeam. The name, the name of the Visa UK, I'm sure that I, uh, I'm sure I define that somewhere. I'm sure you'll see it before me. Then the the just the word in in there, so Azure, because we know that this is the Azure um, rule that we're creating, which Azure region then, and then the target address thereafter. So this gives us the okay. So we're going to check to see if anything is already there, and then we're going to to run that. So then, really, the same thing applies for for AWS. So let's say that you're, you've got a capacity tier that's configured in both Azure and AWS, and you've got various different backup jobs going to either or to both, then you might want to, or you might need to set up additional rules for, for them, for them both. So at the moment, if we look into here, we've got all of our Azure um, rules. And if we go back into here, let's take the command line again so we're going to run the add aws traffic rules this time with the name of vzilla hq because that's where we're coming from this is our source ip we're going to eu central one throttling value of five throttling unit of megabit per second if we hit play on that that's the important bit as well is that any of the modules that are not already installed will be installed if they're not currently there so And then that's going to install those. And you can see the packages coming down. It's a good job I tested this before running the record button, hitting the record button. Okay, so now it's checking the AWS region that we've defined. Okay, so then if we jump into here, then you can start to see those those AWS, those rules between AWS and EU Central. Um, and then, yeah, there was some errors on there, but it might be, yeah, I need to go back and have a look through that as to what it was looking for, because it's added the majority of the ones that you need from an AWS point of view. With that, let me know any questions down below and we'll uh, we'll see you on the next one